Now, I hope I am going towards um, Covent Garden, but I never know. I've just had a lovely meal out in the open. It's um, at Bella Italia. It had lots and lots of lovely chilies in it. It was spaghetti and it had several, seven I think, massive king prawns. So, and I had a lovely glass of wine, a nice Merlot. So that is uh, just what the doctor ordered. All these little streets have got the things out, uh, tables out on the, well, the tables and chairs out on the pavements. It's absolutely lovely. And people are sitting out now in the evenings, eating and drinking. And why not? But firstly, firstly, let me say thank you for watching, liking, and sharing, and ringing the bell, and all that jazz. And a special thank you for those who've subscribed, especially folks who I've met today in London who have already subscribed. If you get round to watching this, thank you so much. Um, it's really appreciated. Now, I sort of am thinking that I'm going towards uh, Covent Garden. And I'm hoping against hope that that's where I'm going to end up. I'm not 100% certain, to be honest, but uh, I think this must be it. I've, I've done this loads of times, but of course, I haven't done it for well over a year, because when I came a few weeks ago, I didn't come to Covent Garden. I think it's across there. There we are. We go across there. Yes, I can see Covent Garden in the distance. All these little pedlo things, which are, oh good gracious, I've got caught up. Oh, that's nice. Little squirrel. Some of these folks peddling these things don't look, I don't know, looks a bit much for them. But I, I thought that when we were in India. I, I actually felt at one stage like getting off and giving a push. Poor old boy, but there we are. sun well down now I think I had a, a good value meal for what it was uh, today the wine was delish and I could do and did do with the um, water that they provided as well the ice cream, oh my word, the ice cream had real strawberries in the strawberry ice cream. There's a novelty. So it's not just an, uh, a flavour. That's nice, isn't it? With the flowers all down the front of the building over there I love this uh, London life where people can sit out in the streets and have a especially out of the way of the vehicles vehicular streets and sit out and have a nice meal or something it's really lovely now here we are there won't be so much happening as happens during the day I don't think but nevertheless, we can have a bit of a look round. Usually, of course, there's lots of street artists. I would doubt if they are here now. Look at these lilies. Look at those. That's nice, isn't it? This is where they, oh, there is somebody there doing something out there.
This is St Paul's Church through there. Got a lovely frontage. People up there at the Punch and Judy having drinks on the top there. Lovely, jubbly. Lovely interior here with those beams. This is absolutely superb. Everybody out drinking, having a little a little tipple. And the cocktails at Bella Italia were not a bad price. I don't know where the 15 pound ones are, but uh, the ones I found were superb. Now this is where the market stalls are here. These all open out, and of course this time of night, it's about, well, I suppose it must be about six or seven, and uh, it isn't open now, they've got them all locked down. But, um, handmade art and design. Hello, pigeon, a pigeon. This is just so special. London's really got the idea of eating out. Now, I'm wondering where the one is, where there's North Hall. This. I can't think where the find what I'm looking for the bit where people oh here it is I found it the bit where people look over the top and look at the people performing yes there it is now we have had meals down here before and when there's a performance in that corner there on the right hand side below that is excellent lovely but everybody I love the action everybody is out so lively it's not like some towns which all go dead after about five o'clock. This is all happening, look, they're all out having meals. I think it's lovely. We've got all these signs up. This is going to be a piece of history, isn't it? When they're all gone, they don't put them up for the flu, do they? So when we've got down to the level of the flu, I would say they'll all disappear. And uh, it's supposed to be 21st of June, but I don't know. Oh, that's a bit smart down there, isn't it? 